So when we look at the final wrap-up of our installation, we're going to look at pipe insulation. Pipe insulation, there are two predominant types. A closed foam, which is a cell, so we're using a closed cell membrane that has a rubber-based feel to it. It's not quite a rubber, but it's a much less spongy-based material. And the other type, which is more prevalent at your local hardware store, which is an open foam insulation. The open foam feels more spongy in nature. Generally, it will come in black or even a light tan in color. And you want to avoid the open foam insulation for doing solar thermal work. And the reason for it is the open foam insulation is really not geared for that high temperature that's coming off the collector. And so when we look at this and our pipe insulation for our install should be done only after we've done a final pressurized test of the entire system. So we want to pressurize this system and then and only then do we want to do anything with putting this insulation on. So a closed foam insulation we will put on. So usually what you do is you'll cut a slit or there will be a slit on the bottom of it. And if you can, try to keep that slit to the bottom side. As you know, heat rises, so we want that split to be glued on the bottom. I'm going to post a video on how to do insulation and the proper techniques of putting it on. So what we want to do is make these measurements and then put this stuff on as we go through. After that closed foam insulation has been added, you want to add a layer of latex paint or aluminum foil, like an aluminum flashing around that insulation to keep it from degrading. 